So I'm not sure if this is ever going to make it to YouTube, but since finding out that we are having a baby, <laughs> I have um, been watching a ton of like YouTube videos and like early pregnancy vlogs by like some of my favourite YouTubers like Flirt of Force and Lily Pebbles. And they've actually been really, really helpful. So I thought that I would just film my own and I can just see how it turns out. And if I decide that I want to share it, great. If not, then then it will never see the light of day. But anyway, um, so yeah, today is the 17th of February and it's, we are exactly nine weeks, which is kind of crazy. We found out like two weeks ago at seven weeks and it was basically a complete surprise <laughs> a very happy surprise but we were not planning we'd, we'd been like thinking that you know in a couple of months so i think before i start talking i'm actually gonna find somewhere better to sit because my arm is getting so tired i've just propped you up <laughs> on the ottoman so what was i saying before um so yeah found out at seven weeks um, and it was a bit of a surprise um, I had been feeling really really rubbish <laughs> for the past sort of week or so like I'd had a migraine and had to come home from work um, and I was really quite unwell for a few days and then I was just really nauseous and I just thought it was like a migraine hangover and eventually my mum was like are you sure you're not pregnant and I'm just like okay let's check um, <laughs> And yeah, at first Tom and I were totally just like, I don't think it sunk in for a good week. We were just like, uh, is this real? Like it was very exciting and we're really um, super, super excited because we've been wanting to have, like have kitties and it's only really a few months like sooner than we would have liked. Um, so it's all like perfect timing anyway, except for the fact that I am supposed to be going in September to my best friend's wedding in France <sighs> and unfortunately that's not going to be able to happen and I'm really really sad. I haven't told her yet because I want to give it a few more weeks to make sure everything's okay and she'll probably be one of the first people that I tell other than Tom's parents <laughs> and like I know she'll be happy for me but she'll also be super sad and I am so so sad as well so I guess that's one of these things but she is also having another one in Perth um, a few months later so I'll still be there for that and I'm gonna have to just try and make it really special for her and I think we'll plan her you know really beautiful hen party and everything but um so yeah I was like quite stressed for the first like a week or so like about that <laughs> um and I think I'll feel a lot better once I've chatted to with her but yeah so some of the things that I found really helpful watching these videos was actually just having people talk about like how they were feeling and like making you feel less alone because you can't really tell anyone like at this point in time <laughs> and so it's quite lonely um and oh, Tom's just back there he's cleaning out his desk or something we're very very into the conmarying of our house lately <laughs> um but yeah so in terms of symptoms like week six which is I guess when I started really feeling symptoms which is what they everyone says I was like just sort of like dizzy and nauseous and then this like really bad migraine hit and I just put it all down to that kind of thing um and then week seven I guess I was feeling a little bit better actually I think um, in the mornings at least I feel a lot better in the mornings and have a lot more energy and then by like two o'clock I'm just absolutely exhausted and like I get home and I just crash I literally can't do anything that is being one of like the worst like aside from feeling like nauseous just sort of and like kind of icky all the time that's been one of the things like just that it's like it's not even tiredness it's like there's this exhaustion that your whole body is just like aching <laughs> um, and that really hits in the like evenings um, like I've been like 
trying to get to sleep and like I've been having like heart palpitations and I haven't actually been sick but I've just felt so so gross. Hiccups has another been another really random symptom. They usually come on like in the evening like after I've eaten dinner and like I'll feel really bloated and then I'll just like start hiccuping and like I can't stop and then I feel really burpy which is just ugh, not very nice. Um, today, as I was saying before, we're, it's nine weeks and um, I don't know, I'm like so ridiculously emotional, like so up and down. I'm usually quite a calm person, I think I am anyway, but poor Tom has been going through so much. <laughs> I've been like snappy and grumpy and oh, like have this like no motivation to do anything and that is like not like me at all I like like getting up and being productive and getting lots of stuff done and I've just like had absolutely no motivation and like I was feeling so bad about it and I still am like sometimes but um listening to Lily Pebbles talk about it too she mentioned the exact same thing like she just didn't feel like herself she felt she had no personality she was just like feeling really boring and nothing was interesting in her and that's how I was I have been feeling um which is not fun <laughs> but I'm just hoping that it will pass soon and it's just you know hormones and everything like that but um and it's kind of nice knowing that it's like it will hopefully pass <laughs> it's and you're not like going crazy um so i've been rambling for six minutes now um and i don't know if any of this is going to be helpful at all but um i don't know if i'll be doing any more vlogs i, I actually don't think this has been helpful <laughs> it's just been me rambling but we'll see what happens um we'll see if i do any more we might tell tom's parents today like we are super excited to tell them we don't know if we want to like wait till a little bit longer just to make sure that you know everything's all right um before we tell them my parents found out like the day that we found out because i was just like uh <laughs> and like the medical and sort of like i was like calling my mum being like uh what do i do oh yeah I haven't even mentioned before we had our first ultrasound a couple of weeks ago at when I was it would have been seven weeks five days um, just to get like dates and stuff because like after coming off the pill it had like I had just been like all over the place um, so we didn't really know we, we found out and it was like could actually be 11 weeks but turns out it was only seven weeks and five days um, and we saw like like they just did like the crown rump measurement and then I had another ultrasound the next week um, at the obstetricians and uh, yeah she confirmed that, that was all all good um, it all looks good so far <laughs> and oh my gosh when I the first time we had the ultrasound Tom was at work so my mum came with me and I was just like the lady doing it was so she was so nice and so excited she's like oh look there's like yeah there it is and you can see its heartbeat they, they couldn't put the doppler on because it's like too early but so you couldn't hear it but like yeah um, like you could tell its heartbeat and it was like 14 millimeters and um which is actually quite big 14 millimeters is like around that amount and yeah <laughs> i was just like that's not tiny <laughs> um but i was just like sitting there going uh i'm excited but like there's something in there like it's actually real what <laughs> um and then the second time at the um at the obstetricians um you could actually see like she zoomed in you could actually see the heart beating which is so crazy um and i think in a few weeks we will be able to find out like if there's like some blood tests and things you can do to check like you know for chromosomal abnormalities and all of that sort of stuff and with that test you can find out the sex as well which we're gonna find out because there's no way I could, <laughs> we could wait I want to know like as soon as possible I don't know how people just keep it a surprise because I'd be way too impatient but yeah so only me and my mum and dad and Tom know at the moment but yeah we'll see 
we'll see what happens. I'm really excited to tell Tom's family. Like, they're gonna be so, so excited. Like my parents, they were excited, but they were not like, when are we having grandkids? Whereas Tom's mum and dad, are, uh, they're more ready. They're ready to be grandparents. <laughs> and it will be the first like grandchild for both sides. So everyone will be very happy. I haven't really talked about like food or cravings or anything like that at all. Um, I basically haven't had any food aversions, which is quite good. <laughs> so obviously I haven't been that sick compared to like some people, but um, I, I've i definitely really enjoyed all the savoury things like potato gems, which I never usually let myself eat. I've definitely enjoying those, <laughs> so good. Um, and like just constantly snacking on crackers and like trail mix and like you know nuts and cheese and oh that's another thing like before we found out obviously we weren't planning it I did, we didn't know and I had been eating so much like non baby friendly foods <laughs> so, like prosciutto and uh, soft cheeses and like all the stuff that you're not supposed to eat um, so we were a bit worried about that but obviously like the doctor was saying like the risk of listeria like if it had happened obviously it would have happened by now so now I'm just staying away from all of that um but yeah I think maybe later on I'll do a video on like tips like my favorite foods to eat to like stave off the um the nausea because definitely eating lots of smaller meals like consistently <laughs> has been a huge help um but yeah I think I will end it here because it's getting really long <laughs> Um, we'll see if this ever makes it to YouTube. If it does, I really hope it helps some people just like feel less alone because it's pretty like scary. Like even if you've planned it, particularly even if you haven't planned it, which it's not like us. We are so like planners. So just the fact that, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna end it now. <laughs> So I've just turned the camera back on because we've decided that you need to bend down a bit, you're too tall. <laughs> but we're going to tell Tom's parents tonight. How are you feeling about it? Excited. What mm -hmm. do you think your mum and dad are going to say? I don't know. I feel like they may cry. <laughs> I, I think they'll just be very happy. Yeah. I think they'll be, I reckon they'll be really surprised as well because whenever they'd sort of like asked before or people had been sort of asking us we'd be like oh yeah not for a while yeah i think we're gonna go give them the um in like just like the little photo from the ultrasound in an envelope and then we're planning on going out for dinner afterwards so that will be fun i think my parents are going to come along too yeah should be um, fun yeah and exciting <laughs> i'm kind of nervous to tell them yeah how are you feeling? Like nervous and excited? <laughs> we are sitting on our bed, which is in the living room at the moment actually, because there's roadworks going on like right outside our bedroom window. So we've just moved in here for <laughs> the past few days. Um, just in case you're wondering why we're sitting on the bed and the TV's like right there and the lounge. But kind of a fun setup. <laughs> it's like a sleepover in the living room. Yeah. Anyway, okay. We'll keep you posted on how it goes. <laughs>